Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm going to show you a rendering pipeline that starts in Maya and ends in WebGL. We're starting off with a Maya binary file that we've got right here in Maya. I'm going to export it to Colada, and then finally convert it to JSON so it can be rendered in a web browser. First thing I want to mention and this is that this pipeline only currently supports single meshes. Meshes can be easily combined, though, using the combine tool right up here under the polygons shelf. It's also important to note that I'm doing this with the construction history off. Maya 2013 seems to prefer it this way when you export to Colada. So as you can see, this character has a skeleton and he's animated over about 550 frames. I'll play just a few of those frames for you here. So the first thing we need to do is save him as a Colada file. So we're going to go up to File, Export All. Then we're going to make sure that we have the DAE FBX export tool selected. And then we're going to make sure that we're exporting everything we need to. So we're exporting his animations there. We're making sure that we're baking the animation for the whole animation. We're also triangulating and using a single matrix. This is just going to make it a little bit more convenient for parsing later on. So I'm going to save him as demo.dae. It'll take just a second. So now, in my models directory, I have a demo.dae file. I'm going to run it with my Python program that converts Colada to JSON. So now I've got a JSON file right here. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to assign this whole JSON object to a variable real quick. This is sort of a quick and dirty way of getting your JSON model inside your HTML page. So I'm going to save that. And now I can actually use it. So we can go back and we can run the HTML file. So there he is in the browser. You can dance around. Turn your lighting on and off. That's the whole pipeline. Um, let me show you real quick the HTML. You can see it's a very simple page. Um, all I'm doing is importing all these different JavaScript files that I've got. Um, this one right here is the actual model. This right here is a math library that helps me do uh, linear algebra type stuff. This right here is the actual WebGL engine. And this is JavaScript that is just for this page. Now, inside that page, or inside this JavaScript right here, I've got a start scene function. And I want to wait right here until the window has loaded so I can actually get at this canvas down here. And then I've just got my little buttons and stuff down here. And that's about the whole thing. It's uh, not too complicated and it's. It's a nice little pipeline. Thank you.